Let's talk about insulin resistance, what it is and what you can do about it. Insulin is a hormone secreted by the pancreas in response to glucose or sugar entering the bloodstream. It helps take that glucose into our cells for fuel. But for many people, over time, the body can become resistant to insulin signal. And when the body becomes insulin resistant, the pancreas will actually increase its production of insulin to compensate. But increased levels of insulin can damage your overall metabolic health and make it very difficult to lose weight and easy to gain weight. The good news is, is that if it's caught early enough, insulin resistance can be reversed. However, if it's left untreated, insulin resistance can lead to the development of prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, and other health conditions. So what can you do about it? While genetic and aging play a role in the development of insulin resistance, the main contributors are excess body weight, especially around the waist, a lack of exercise, smoking, increased stress, and poor sleep. So in tackling insulin resistance, it's important to address all of these factors. Right now, let's just focus on food and nutrition. When it comes to weight loss, it's important to focus on what causes insulin's release, and that's sugar. Glucose, or sugar, comes from any food product that has carbohydrates. This includes everything from processed foods to grains, fruits, dairies, and even vegetables. If glucose intake is lowered, the pancreas isn't signaled to release as much insulin. In turn, decreased levels of insulin will allow us to tap into our own fat stores for fuel, which will lead to weight loss. So how do we do this? There are two main ways. One, carbohydrate reduction, and two, intermittent fasting. But nutrition isn't all of it. Research shows that people with insulin resistance actually lose more weight when nutrition changes are combined with exercise, more than those who just focused on diet. Movement after a meal can be especially helpful in reducing insulin resistance. I hope you found this helpful in learning about insulin resistance and what steps to take next.